What's up, everybody? We're going to play Connections for Wednesday, February 14, 2024. Uh, let's see, a couple updates. Um, some of you had just mentioned uh, just a slight little issue with the scoring. And those of you who did, don't worry, I already uh, updated the score report for you guys. Uh, China Reds, my friend, I'm still waiting to hear from you so that you can give me an address so that you can claim your uh, prize for January. So just go to the About tab. Uh, click on the email address and send me the address to which the um, prize can get shipped. And um, what else? Oh, and then uh, again, Viking67, please, I want to update your score. You need to just give me results for 236, 238, and 242, those particular connection numbers. All right, guys, here we go. Let's hit the play button, and um, we're going to try to do well. I am not very pleased at all with my standings. I want to at least try to get into the top ten, and um, I'm, I've, I've got a lot of uh, I've got a lot of work to do. So here we go. Um, the timer for art starts now. We've got Plum, Skim, Oyster, Witness, Kiss, Perfect, Fruit, EXO, Whole Hug, Odd Graze, Claw, Soy, Brush Prime. So they're trying to be cute here. This is all interesting. Because X and O means um, a kiss and a hug. Of course, XO backwards is ox. Unfortunately, I don't see too many things that work backwards. XO. What X, what, what something might mean. I wonder what XO could mean. This is going to be very tricky. Um, and I just don't think they're going to go together. Plus, I don't even see what the fourth item would be. Um, something can be in perfect condition. It can be in prime condition. Doesn't quite work. Skim milk, whole milk. Um, soy milk. And... Hmm. I guess uh huh. I I guess oyster, but I've never I've never had oyster milk and that doesn't sound too good. Um Shoot, I just wish they had, you know, um something else there. But that's okay. Uh I'm pretty sure that should be a category. I don't think it would be plum milk um, or fruit milk, but uh, but th these three will be a milk category. Just I'm a little hesitant to go with oyster. Uh, you can witness something. Um, it could be an eyewitness. Eye brush doesn't make sense. Um, odd. Odd. Uh, Oh, could they actually, could she have a math one today? Prime, perfect, odd. Would all be ways to describe, oh, wow. Oh, holy cow. Would all be ways to describe numbers. Huh. Whole numbers, just like an integer. Perfect. Eh. Well, there are actually perfect numbers. I was about to say she maybe she meant perfect square. Um, but perfect numbers are, are fair and square. Um, in fact, guys, if just in case you're curious, <coughs> 28 would be an example of a perfect number because the sum of all its divisors, except for 28, add up to 28. So 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 14, if you add those up, you get 28. So that's what makes it perfect. Obviously, we know what odd numbers are and prime numbers, of course, are like 2, 3, 5, 7, and so on and so forth. But I don't know. That's a little bit too... I don't know. That's a little bit too too mathematical, um, but we'll hold on to it. And then that would remove the milk because then you would have, um, unless it's that crazy oyster. So this is this is going to be a tough puzzle. I can already tell there's no need to try to uh, rush. Let's just think it through and hopefully try to get, you know, a solid base score and possibly the order. Okay, that's the way you got to do it because, you know, I can tell I'm already a good four minutes into this thing. All right, so what's going on here? This is going to be tough. I mean, I sort of feel like I've identified at least one category, um, but, uh, ooh, and the XO concerns me. Claw, what's up with claw? Um, 
you can claw your way. You, a claw is like an appendage. I just don't see that working very well. You've got graze too. You can, oh, you could graze someone. You could brush them. You could skim. And maybe kiss actually. So in other words, when something just skims across the surface, it just kisses the surface, it just grazes, it just brushes. So light to lightly touch against. Ah. What I like about that, if anything, is it further removes the milk category because I couldn't find the fourth word and it further gives credence to this number category. I would be absolutely blown away if she was thinking of perfect numbers. That's incredible. So when so I think these are when something lightly touches against something. I, it's not a bad guess. Hug would be the opposite. That's not lightly touching. That's tightly. So should we go with this, guys? Lightly touch against? Yes! Wow! Very good, man. I'm just very happy about that. Sweet. Okay. Um... There's no way. Come on, perfect odd hole and prime. I I would I would make a special trip to New York City and just give her a, a big hug for that. That would be insane. I mean, she had the stats category. She occasionally will do geometric shapes, but for her to put in perfect, oh my gosh, that's just like she really did her research on that one. Um, but I, I I'm a little hesitant though. Okay, I'm a little hesitant. Um, so we don't have milk anymore. Milk's out of the picture. Okay. Um. So, damn, it's, it is probably going to be this. That would be a hard one, though, because people aren't going to know about perfect. Um, so soy is interesting. So you've got soy, fruit, I bet oyster will go together. And then this XO. Huh. Soy sauce. Um, Soybean... Soy bean, soy fruit oyster. Hmm. Claw. Witness though. What's up with witness? Come on. Witness is crazy. That's just out of nowhere. Um, you've got an eyewitness, witness, mm. I'm really tempted to do this thing though. I mean, I mean, does, who cares about the order, right? I don't know. Um, let's keep those selected though. And let's see what we've got. So two other categories, if this is true, but then yeah, that's soy sauce, soybean, um, Soybean. I just don't think those are beans. Oh, I forgot about plum. What's up with plum? Are we? Do we, are? We, is there some sort of wordplay? Plum. Remember, you can add the b. Um, I don't think that's going to happen though. Ox or xo. That's strange. Oyster. Well, let's just give this a shot, right? I, I, these are going to be um, types of numbers, hopefully. That would be incredible. I'd be so psyched if she did that. She did. And it's and it's green. Oh, my gosh. That's incredible. I, I, I was thinking, ah, eh, you know, blue or purple. So we still have a chance to get this in sequence, huh, guys? Problem is, I'm, I, I'm just, uh, I, I have to be honest. I think my luck has run out, and we're now outside of art's comfort zone. The numbers, you know, that more or less popped right out, but we've got we've got some serious issues here. I mean, oyster, fruit, plum, and soy are, are all food-related. That would be tempting to click on that, but I wouldn't have an exact reason for why they go together. Oyster Bay. 
Oyster Bay in uh, Long Island. Witness. <sighs> I don't know, guys. This is not going too well. I've noticed this trend recently as I get those first two and then I just run into terrible trouble afterwards. Um, soy. Yo soy. Could this be, you know, eh, that doesn't go any further. I was thinking, oh, maybe that's a Spanish word. That would be pretty cool. Yo soy Arturo. Me llamo Arturo. But that doesn't go any further. Shoot. Soy sauce. Soybean. That's all I can come up with. Soy. I, got, I, I have to believe there's some wordplay. I really do. I think there's got to be some wordplay. An exo annoys me. I bet it's just something. It could be like maybe a magazine or something. I just can't imagine picture where I might have seen that. Um, of course, it's, you know, hug and kiss, but the, uh, those were put there as a decoy. It's not even related now. Um Yeah, let's see. What's the wordplay that could be going on here? And then fruit would be a good, you know, word to go with a uh, phrase. Fruit cup. Fruit cake. Um, fruit salad. Oh, boy. Um... We got um, we gotta gotta stick with me, guys. Gotta stick with me. Um, I'm gonna try to you know try to finish this off. Witness, eyewitness. Exo, exo, exo. I can't think what this is. Soy. Hug, claw, plum, fruit, XO, witness, and oyster. Witness, eyewitness, witness protection program, oyster bay, oyster crackers, Oysters, I mean, oyster sauce, soy sauce. That doesn't really work. Um, things that are X. Plum. Plum. We have a plum. I think we have a plum island up on the North Shore here in Massachusetts. I don't think that's going to work. Plum, again, you can add the B. Fruit. XO. Oh, that's driving me nuts. XO. 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 Uh, hug claw. I don't know. Maybe it's not a phrase. I mean, what can you really do with claw? Um, claw. Claw, plum, exo, witness. Oyster, fruit, soy, and hug. Um, soy. Yo soy Arturo. Hug. Um, let's shuffle these up a little bit. Witness. Oyster has the soy in it, which is interesting, but I don't think that goes anywhere. Um, I 
what kind of things should, could she be looking at here? Um, hug, you know, you could do chug or thug. I just don't think we're adding a letter. Oyster, what could we put in front of that? I'm not sure. Um... Fruit, plum, fruit, uh, fruit, uh, fruit tree, fruit, um, fruit cake. Um, Claw. Oh. Eh. Nah. I was... Uh, I just had, like, the image of, like, a claw. And, like, oysters, I think, you know, open. And, and hug. So it's, like, sort of, like, oh, things that sort of, like, open and close. Uh, that's not good, though. That's not that good at all. And then I just don't see how plum or fruit would really work like that. Plum. Wit, witness. You witness something. Claw. Claw your, I'm going to claw my way, claw my way back home. I'm going to claw my way to victory. Claw. XO is ox backwards. Um, plum, lump. Claw, hug, I guess these are all nouns. They uh, That's another like tiny tip is that um, they all tend to be used um, when it's sort of like in a uh, category like, like the first two. The, the parts of speech will be consistent. So you can't fruit something. So and oyster is definitely a noun. So is witness. Or no, you could witness something. Hmm. You to, you could witness. You could hug. You could claw.
kwam um i mean the thing is this is so tricky because it's just like i'm trying shapes like you know oyster is like shell hmm i mean i guess that's another way to look at it is like fruit has an exterior shell um fruit and plum can't go together i can't imagine that they they, they do that a lot but they're fruits the larger category so fruit typically has a something inside it or it has the exterior um uh sort of like exterior part of it and then the oyster and the claw Soy, I mean, if we go back to Spanish, yo soy Arturo, I am Arturo. Um, what, so maybe it's like what, what am might mean? What I am might mean or what to be might mean? But that doesn't seem like it would work. <laughs> That's sort of stretching it. That soy really bothers me. Um, they all bother me because I just can't seem to find anything. Soy. Yo soy. I am. What I am might mean, but what else relates to I am? Claw, cat's claw, dog's claws. I was thinking, you know, like dogs or cats, they, they hug you, they can claw you, but that just doesn't really go any further. I have all my guesses left, but the thing is, I just don't even have anything where I could say, I'll safely say, oh, I've got three, and then I could just, you know, you know if you have three, then you would have, you know, a 75% chance of getting this thing. But I just don't even have three that I can safely put together. I don't even have really two. So that's the thing that's sort of driving me nuts. The good news is I don't have anybody coming, guys, so I'm going to take my sweet time here. I am. Um, soybean and soy sauce... Literally, only two things I keep coming up with. Um, Plum? What, what goes with plum? Fruit bowl? Witness. Eyewitness is all I can come up with.
XO. XO? That's not knockout, is it? No, that's like a KO. XO. It's just some symbol. I just can't I just can't seem to figure out what that symbol means. XO. I mean, X's and O's, but that just is silly because it's really just an O for a hug. And again, even if those two did go together, I see nothing else that would relate with them. Claw. Claw. Uh, I don't think it's much pop culture, so this is a little frustrating. It's just a really, really evil, vile... Uh, my, my guess is it's just an extremely evil imagery-based thing, and then maybe some... A uh, secret phrase, secret word that I just can't seem to get. Um, or wordplay, or some just incredibly difficult wordplay. Um, what else can we add or subtract or do with these words? Um, soy... Oh, man, that's also driving me crazy. Soybean, soy sauce. Um, and I've got, I've, and yo soy. Just is not quite clicking. It's going to be a wordplay, I have a feeling. Like, it, hug, you know, you could add an E and it's huge. Claw. Witness. Witness. Soy boy. I mean, this is cheesy. I mean, but all of these you could, you know. Replace the first letter with any other letter. Claw, flaw, hug, mug, soy boy, plum, glum. Plum slum, slum slaw. It just doesn't. That just that's kind of weak, though. I mean, like, she, it'll be more specific, right? I'm, I'm, guys, I've been taking so long here. It's time to just acknowledge defeat and just say to yourself, you know what? We tried our best. At worst, I'm going to get a two. And um, I just can't come up with anything. I've tried so many things. Um, I'm going to go something like soy sauce, oyster sauce, plum sauce, and claw sauce. Because I just don't think fruit, I, I haven't heard of a fruit sauce. Like, 
but we'll just try sauces. Nah, one away. Okay, so maybe I'll try fruit instead. No, one away. So, but that's assuming that it's these three, huh? Exo sauce. Huh, that's incredible. So there we go. Um, and some, the funny thing is, I feel like a little bit of an idiot because I think a lot of people will probably get that. And I do enjoy Chinese food. Um, I just uh, usually use like ginger, ginger sauce. I just, um, ooh, ouch. All right, well, I guess we're going to solve this thing, which is pretty cool. I guess um, we did say sauce. So I, what do you think, guys? Um, is that, a, is that a full point or just a half point? Because it is specific to Chinese cuisine. I think this is a classic example, to be quite honest, where, yeah, you have to, you, if you say sauce, which I did, I only said sauce, um, then we just have to go with a half point because the Chinese is kind of like a important um, commonality. Okay, so not bad. Now, let's just give this some thought here. We've got fruit, claw, hug, and witness. Um... We're going to get them in order. Holy cow, guys. I just realized that. I've been so kind of like demoralized because I couldn't make any progress. And there's a pretty nice bright light out of the tunnel. Um, so even if I can't name this, let's just think here. We're going to get two and a half. I admit, you know, I think it just saying sauces is worth half a point for sure. So that's two and a half plus the guesses is four and a half plus the order is five and a half. So I'm either going to get five and a half or six and a half. It's actually not that bad considering... I was pretty much ready to just, you know, just give up and just blindly guess, but not bad. Okay, so fruit, claw, hug, and witness. That's going to be still very tough. Um, fruit cup, claw, hug, and witness. Uh, I'm not sure if it's what X might mean. Because, like, you know, what else would you put for fruit? So it's a phrase. I, I think it'll have to be a phrase. Let's get this phrase. Come on, guys. Um, come on, give me, give me a big hug. Bear hug. There we go. Oh, gosh. I feel like an idiot. Bear hug. So bear bear hug and bear claw sound good. I mean, I'm only going out of two out of four here. Bear hug and bear claw. A bear claw? Oh, this might not even be correct. Bear. Oh, to bear witness and bear fruit. I think we got it, guys. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I'm actually, believe it or not, fairly happy with that. Uh, guys, obviously certain segments I had to, I didn't actually um, really cut anything. I just sped through some sections uh, just so that I was going a little bit faster. Okay. But yeah, um, there you have it. That's insane. I'm very happy about that. That was a very tough puzzle because you had all sorts of crazy little side you know, side quests and detours, like with the milk, that was clever. That was clever. Skim hole and soy, those are milks, but it just didn't quite go from there. Um, I have to say that even though I didn't do like spectacular, I have to say this is probably going to go down as one of my favorite puzzles for two reasons, because we came up with a pretty amazing solve at the end. Um, I was able to name all the categories, which is great. I just had to expend two guesses. Um, so I'm still super happy here. And um, she actually put in perfect a perfect number. The funny thing is I think a lot of people might get that, not thinking about the perfect number, but they're just going to maybe think about a perfect square. But they're different. And um, there you have it, guys. Ah, wow. Um, what more can I say? Uh, what more can I say? Except um, that definitely goes down as one of my favorite puzzles. And I hope you guys enjoyed that too. I do sense that that should create quite a stir for people. Um, but for those of you who are Chinese cuisine connoisseurs, I guess that's not going to be a problem whatsoever. Um, so what's the final tally? Again, we had two mistakes remaining. Um, we got uh, 
three and a half categories, right? So that's five and a half, and we got them in order. So six and a half points out of 10. I will take it. It's kind of on par with where I'm at right now. Um, but, oh, gosh, it feels really satisfying to get that and not fail. Hope you enjoyed, guys. And, of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Connections.